Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question binary HP pre order traversal. Okay, there isn't much to explain, just we should know how to implement in order, pre order, and post order. And then let's focus on uh, result.append. So in, in order, so result.append is here, and the pre order here, and the post order here. So point is, so for pre-order, so we do something between left and right. And for pre-order, we do something before left and right. And for post-order, we do something after left and right, right? So for this question, we have to implement pre-order. So we do something before left and right. Yes, that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, create a result variable. So this is array. And then let's create a pre-order function. And then taking a node. And first of all, this is a base case. If not node, in that case, just return. So that means we reach end of tree. And then after that, not after that, if not the case, so as I told you, uh, we do something before left and right. So in this case, just append current value to result variable. So less dot append and then node dot bar. And then we go left and right. So call preorder function and then node dot left and then preorder and then node dot right. And then Call preorder function from outside, so preorder, and uh, we have root node, right? And then just return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree. And the space complexity is order of h, where h is a height of tree. So we need a space for like a recursive call stack. OK, so I'll show you one more solution. OK, in the second solution, I use stack and initialize with root node. So that means node 1. And I prepare a result variable. So this is a return value. And first of all, we take the latest node in stack. So that is 1. And uh, do you remember in the solution 1, I said um, we do something before left and right for preorder. So before we move left and right, so we append current node value to result variable. So that is one, right? And then after that, so we want to move left and right. So instead of moving left and right, we should add a left node and a right node to stack. And in this case, so output is one, two, four. So that means First of all, we go left, right. So that's why we should add left or right side at first, because we pop from the end, from stack, right? So that's why um, we should add right side at first, three, and then add left side, that is two. And then we have data in stack, so we continue. So first of all, pop the latest node in stack. So that is two. And then before we move left and right, so we do something. So just add current value to result variable. So that is two. And look at the two. So right side is five and the left side is four. So that's why add right side first, five, and then four. And then stack has some number, some node. So that's why we continue. First of all, pop the last node, four, and then append four to result variable. And then four doesn't have any child, so we don't add anything. And then after that, so pre-order, so we go one, two, four, and there is no left and right. So we go back and then next we go right, right? So that is five. And we have five, looks good. So just pop uh, last value, so last node, five. And then 
uh, the five to result variable. And then check right and left, we have seven and six. So a uh, seven and six. And then from here, so we go left and right and then go back. So next node should be six, right? And uh, we have six in the last index. So looks good. So pop six from stack and then add six to result variable. And uh, next, there is no left and right from six. So we don't add anything. And then go back to five and move right. So we should have seven. And we have seven. Looks good. So pop seven from stack and then add seven to result variable. And then seven doesn't have any uh, child. So we don't add anything. And then, so we should go back five to one because uh, we already pass all nodes on the left side of root node. So it's time to go to right side. So that is three, right? And we have three in stack. So we pop three from stack and then add three to result variable. And then three has only right side, not left side. So just append eight to stack. And then, so there's no left, so we go right, so eight, pop eight and add eight. And eight only has left side, no right side. Append nine to stack and then go left. And uh, we have nine, so pop nine from stack and then add nine to result variable. And the nine doesn't have any uh, child, so we don't add anything. So now we are moving from one, three, eight, nine. So actually, uh, we visit all the nodes. So that's why we stop traversing. So all we have to do is just return one, two, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, nine. So exact same as this output. So it looks good. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a result variable, and this is array. And if not, root. So in the case, just return empty array. If not the case, so let's create a stack. So stack and uh, initialized with root node. And then let's traverse one by one, so y stack so stack has node in the case just pop the latest node from stack so node equals stack dot pop and then first of all append current value to result variable so less dot append and then node dot val and then as i told you uh, so first of all we append right side so if node dot right in that case, stack dot append and uh, node dot right, and then if node dot left. So in that case, stack dot append and uh, node dot left, and then after that, just return result variable. Yeah. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. Time complexity and the space complex are the same as solution one. So time is order of n and the space is order of h. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.